Kent Emanuel. Ooh. My guy made his major league debut for the Strohs. Our guy, Odo, gets hurt. We're going to check in on him. We'll get an update for you guys. Gets pulled after one out. Kent, you're in, buddy. The lefty, 28 years old, making his major league debut. Probably didn't know he was going to pitch this day. You know, they were probably expecting six strong out of Odo and then go to the go to the meat of the bullpen. What does Kent come do? He comes in and he throws the baseball, baby. 8.2 innings. Goes the rest of the way. He only gives up two runs, two homers. I mean, for a major league debut, I can't even imagine, man. Like, that would be the last thing on my mind. I'd just be hoping to throw strikes and get some outs. Kent said, screw that. You gave me the bump. I'm going. 8.2 is the first time a reliever's gone that long since uh, Ernie Shore. I took a guess. You took a guess. It was Neil Allen in 88. Uh, So 30-plus years. And, Trev, here's the kicker. My guy got popped for a PED suspension. Kent Emanuel. But... It's controversial. He got tested positive for DHCMT, which I guess is this old steroid that I I don't know. There's a bunch of articles on it. Ken Rosenthal wrote one. It's, like, kind of controversial. My guy Kent is so built up and pissed off, he got the number zero because he said, I should have been suspended for that many games. He said it in his post-game presser. Yes, after his major league debut where he came out and pitched 8.2 in relief, he said, I'm wearing number zero because that's how many games I should have been suspended. Man, are you going to fit in well in Houston, buddy? (laughs) Keep that up. Keep shoving, my man, and and good for you. I don't know anything about the actual DHCMT, but apparently there's a discussion around it. But, again, it goes back to what we're saying. I mean, Kent is 28. He kind of looks like our – East German steroid from the 70s and 80s. So, like, yeah, there was a lot of guys that it stands a ball in this. Like, a lot of guys were getting popped for it out of nowhere. I think that's where, um, I'm forgetting his name now, Chris Colabello, former teammate of mine, mm-hmm. he, he's denied it vehemently that he didn't take any steroids. But what a, what a line right there. Zero on my back because that's how many games I should have been suspended for. Yes. Welcome to Houston. He's waiting on that one.